Alabama's primary election is a little less than nine weeks away, and one of the people who would like to be your next U.S. Senator, Katie Brett, she's running for the seat currently held by Richard Shelby, who is not seeking re-election. So, Katie, thank you so much for joining us in the studio, and I know you've probably been really busy. Yes, and Liliana, congratulations on your new role oh, here. Thank it's exciting you. to be in in a studio with you for the first time. I, well, I'm ha so happy you're here, and and I just want to jump right in because we are learning right now that uh, former President Donald Trump has pulled his endorsement of Mo Brooks. So this is Wednesday morning. What does that mean for you? Well, the um, state of Alabama loves President Trump, and we are working hard to earn the votes of every Alabamian across the state. We have been zigzagging across the state. We're the only candidate that have been in every single county, uh, really listening to people. And people miss the president. Uh, they miss the president's agenda, the America First agenda. And people know that I am best to fight for the America First agenda in D.C. and um, for the people of Alabama. So uh, let's... Uh are you hoping that endorsement will come in for you? Because that's what's up in the air at this hour. Well, um, obviously, we'll let the president make those decisions. But I think if you take a look at what we've done in this state, we've built grassroots support. Mm -hmm. um, it's exciting. You know, people want new blood. They want fresh blood. They want someone to tell it like it is, to fight for our values, for our Christian conservative values, and fight for Alabamians. That's what sets me apart in this field, is I will be able to hit the ground running on day one and make an impact. And and work for the people of Alabama. I am a big believer that no child zip code should determine their opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I want to be a partner, Lillian, in that and making sure that our state can reach its full potential. And so I want to talk about, you know, it's a tack ad season. I cannot imagine being a political candidate, yes. seeing that about yourself yes. and not being able to respond, you yes. know. Um, one of them that's running, and I, I just wanted to quote it, they're saying that, um, that you were a lobbyist that backed Alabama's $300 million gas tax hike. When you see that running, what do you wish that you could tell our viewers? Well, the viewers need to know that I actually was the very first candidate in this race to sign the Taxpayer Protection Pledge, which means that when I go to D.C. as your next United States Senator, I have pledged to never vote to raise your taxes. I think it's important that that is off the table. In order for us to be able to balance our budget and get spending under control um, and get the reckless deficit that we have, you know, rein that back in, we've got to make sure that we have a leader that will never vote to raise our taxes. So then we can make the proper cuts in government so that we can have more security, not only for today, but for our children. Because right now we're putting debt on the back of our children's children's children, and we have to have real leaders that will stand up and say, absolutely not. You know, let's get this under control. You have to balance your budget, right? Right. right. I have to balance mine. Uh, the government should have to balance theirs. And I'm going to introduce a balanced budget amendment on the very first day, and I'm going to attach to it that no member of Congress gets paid unless we balance our budget. And I guarantee you at that point, uh, that'll become a priority for people that it hasn't been before. So you're really looking forward, looking Absolutely. to what you're going to be doing in Absolutely. the future. Now, before we have to go, I want you to just tell us, you know, what what is it that makes you qualified to be our next U.S. Senator? Yes. So I believe, you know, I um, am something different. Mm -hmm. New blood, fresh blood. I want to go fight for our children. You know, we have seen parents get off the sidelines all across this country. We know we've got to do something different to save the country we know and love. You know, I believe this country was founded on Christian conservative principles. It was founded on freedoms and liberties. And it was founded on the American dream. That if you work hard, you keep your head down, you can achieve more than your father before you. Those things are worth fighting for. That is what I'm going to go to D.C. and do. And I believe we are earning the support. And for your viewers, we want to earn their support. We need it. It makes a difference. We want your vote on May 24th. Um, so that's what's going to ultimately set us apart. And we look forward to being the candidate, not just from Alabama, which I'm actually the only candidate that is from Alabama, but for Alabama. Well, there you go. Katie Britt, thank you so much.